You okay? I love you. Oh God! Oh my God! That just came flying out of my face. Like it was just some kind of. I I, lo I love you. I just I did it again. I I I I, I love you. I I do. I just I. I love you, and I have been trying not to say it. I have been trying so hard to just mash it down and ignore it and not say it, and Jackson is a great guy. He, he is. He's, he's gorgeous, and, and, and he's younger than you, and he doesn't have any grandkids or, or babies with his lesbian BFFs, and he's in Avery, and, and he liked me. You know, he, he really liked me, but it was never going to work out because I, I love you. I am so in love with you, and you're, you're, you're in me. It's you're like it's it's like you're a disease. It's like I am infected by Mark Sloan, and I just can't, I can't think about anything or anybody, and I can't sleep, I can't breathe, I can't eat, and I love you. I just I love you all, all the time. It's every minute of every day, and I I I I. I love you. God, that feels good just to, just to say that. I'm, I feel so much better. I'm just, I love you. <laughs>
Just come on, Hales. Just meet me halfway here. Why should I? Because I'm sorry. Because I love you. Because you're looking really hot standing out here in the rain, and I'm thinking I have to kiss you. Well, if you have to. Stupid, corny, idiotic. I cannot believe I did this. Stupid loser. Son of a... I could be at home instead of... Ugh. Stupid, lame man. Meredith. Where have you been? I've been waiting and waiting for you. And I did this stupid, embarrassing, humiliating, corny thing. And I was just gonna tell you that this over here is our kitchen. And this is our living room. And over there, that's the room where our kids could play. I had this whole thing about I was gonna build us a house, but I don't build houses because I'm a surgeon. And now I'm here feeling like a lame-ass loser. I got all whole and healed, and you don't show up. And now it's all ruined because you took so long to come home. And I couldn't even find that bottle of champagne. The kitchen, living room, a little small. I think the view is much better from here. And that's the room where the kids are going to play. Hmm. Where's our bed? I'm still mad at you, and I don't know if I trust you. I want to trust you, but I don't know if I do, so I'm just going to try. I'm going to try and trust you, because I believe that we can be extraordinary together, rather than ordinary apart. And I want to be... Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. The show's over, you guys. Thanks so much, though. It's great having you. This kid bothering you, Summer? No, it's okay. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Colin, you're making a scene. I need to talk to you. Oh, I am your Raider. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk up here. Oh, my God, no. Summer, I know you're scared. Yeah, of you. You kiss all these other guys, but you won't kiss me. Acknowledge me now or lose me forever. Wait, you're dating this emo geek? Yes, Brad, she's dating this emo geek. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm a big dork and I listen to emo, and I'm dating her. Why are you doing this? Yes, Summer, I like you this much. And if you don't feel the same way about me, then... Someone's gonna have to give me a hand down because it's really high up here and I could fall and that would be embarrassing. More embarrassing. It's all over the big public makeup session. That'll be ten bucks, Colin. That's for a worthy cause. Repairing the damage. You know, it's actually pretty good that you're here, because um, I need to say something. Lux has been through more than either one of us realize. And if I don't find a way to get approved for custody of her, I literally will not be able to live with myself. 
I'm just not going to turn her away twice. So if you want to walk away... I don't. Kate, I mean it. I don't. Like, I will do whatever you want. I'll take her to school every day. She can stay at my place. We can split time with her 50-50. I don't... Like, I don't want to be that guy who bails. Not again. I want to be a dad. And I want to do this with you. I mean, not like with you, with you. you. I mean, I know you're with Ryan, and I definitely know how you feel about me. And whatever happened between us the other night, that was a mistake. And it shouldn't have happened. And I'm not going to say anything to anyone, and you shouldn't either. So what happened with us, that's in the past. And the only thing that matters between us now is Lux. It's fine. You and Daphne. I, I get it. I can't compete with that. Just don't make this harder for me than it is already. Just because I always have some snappy comeback doesn't mean that I don't break easily. What did she want? Nothing. Tell me she enjoyed working with me. Did you? Did I what? Did you enjoy working with her? I mean, I, I just keep seeing you guys and working together all the time and just seem to be bonding away. Are you jealous? It's not funny. I'm not smiling because it's funny. I'm smiling because it's sweet. You didn't think it was sweet when I was jealous of you and Jenny. You and I weren't together then, but... We are now. Right. Which is why it bothers me more now. Rachel. I trusted you with my secret. My life. If I trusted you with that, don't you know that that means I... You know that I... What are, you, what are you trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. Don't say it now. I don't, I don't want to hear it here. Here? Where we've done pretty much everything Mike, else? Mike, I... love you. I love you. I don't want to keep it in anymore. <laughs> I love you, too. And at this moment, I don't care. Who knows? I feel now about you then I'm just glad I Okay, um, I know you don't think so, but we can be friends. I mean, we are friends, right? Just, we can be more than that. We need to be more than that, because I love you. I, I always have, and look, I, I know I've screwed up more than a few times, I know. I love you so much. I love you too.
Clark? Not that I'm an interior designer, but one of these things doesn't exactly go with the other. Maybe I need you. I'm sorry we missed our dance. Here in this house. You don't need to worry about me, Clark. If anybody understands deadlines and urgent things, it's me. I'm not worried about you. I missed you. Neither of us are primed for dancing with the stars and speaking strictly as friends. I don't know if this is such a good idea. Lois, get over here. I'm not sure how we're going to make this work without the jukebox nostalgia and the balloons and... Lois. Shut up. Right. Shut up. <laughs> Ow! Sorry. Hey, I'm the one that put my feet under yours. Um, but it's, I... No. It's fine. Let's just try this. Nothing has changed. 